Have you ever gazed up at the night sky and wondered if we are alone in the universe? This question, an existential puzzle that has tickled the curiosity of humankind for millennia, is not as simple as it seems. As we delve deeper into the cosmos, our understanding of the universe expands, only to reveal its staggering vastness. Imagine this, billions upon billions of galaxies, each teeming with countless stars. Around these stars, planets revolve, just like our Earth circles the Sun. Among these numerous celestial bodies, could there be one, or perhaps many, that harbor life as we know it? Our innate human curiosity, coupled with our ever-advancing technology, has driven us to seek answers. We have embarked on a relentless quest, reaching out to the cosmos in hopes of finding a signal, a hint of extraterrestrial intelligence. And yet, this pursuit has led us to a fascinating conundrum, a paradox that challenges our very understanding of the cosmos. Our quest to answer this question has led us to the inception of a paradox known as the SETI paradox. The search for extraterrestrial intelligence, or SETI, has a paradox at its core. A project that began in the late 1950s, SETI is a concerted global effort to detect intelligent life beyond our own planet. Using massive radio telescopes, the scientists involved in SETI scan the cosmos in a quest to pick up signals that could only be produced by other intelligent beings. The paradox that has come to be associated with SETI is a fascinating one. It's a conundrum born out of an apparent contradiction between two seemingly logical assumptions about the universe. On one hand, given the sheer size and age of the universe, with billions upon billions of stars and potentially habitable planets, it seems highly likely that intelligent life must exist somewhere out there. Our own existence on Earth stands as a testament to that possibility. Yet, on the other hand, despite decades of searching, we have yet to find any evidence of extraterrestrial intelligence. No signals, no messages, no signs of life beyond our own. This contradiction, this paradox, is essentially the crux of SETI's mission. It's the question that keeps the scientists involved in the project awake at night. And it's the mystery that fuels their ongoing search. The origin of this paradox can be traced back to the early days of SETI. It's a product of the optimism and curiosity that drove the project's inception, combined with the sobering reality of our current understanding of the universe. It's a paradox that encapsulates the human capacity for hope and the harsh limitations of our knowledge and technology. This paradox has also sparked a multitude of debates and discussions within the scientific community and beyond. It's a paradox that invites us to ponder the nature of life itself and our place in the grand cosmic scheme of things. Are we alone in the universe? Or is there somewhere out there a civilization waiting to be discovered or perhaps even looking for us? This paradox has puzzled scientists and space enthusiasts alike. The SETI paradox is deeply intertwined with what's known as the Drake Equation. The Drake Equation, named after its creator Frank Drake, is not simply an equation, but a conversation starter, a way to frame our thinking about extraterrestrial life. It's a formula that aims to estimate the potential number of advanced civilizations within our Milky Way galaxy. So how does it work? The Drake Equation takes into account various factors. It starts with the rate of star formation in our galaxy, then it considers the fraction of those stars that have planetary systems. Next, it looks at the number of planets that could potentially support life as we know it. After that, it factors in the fraction of planets where life actually develops, and then the fraction where that life evolves into intelligent beings. Finally, it considers the length of time such civilizations might be able to communicate. It's this last factor that throws a wrench into the works. You see, even if there are a multitude of civilizations out there, if they don't exist at the same time as us, we'll never be able to make contact. 
The Drake equation, therefore, contributes to the SETI paradox by suggesting that yes, there should be other civilizations out there, yet we have found no concrete evidence of their existence. This lack of contact, despite the seemingly high probability, only deepens the mystery of the SETI paradox. Some argue that the Drake equation is overly optimistic. They say it assumes a lot about life's ability to thrive and develop intelligence, and about civilization's desire and ability to communicate. Others argue that it's too pessimistic, not taking into account the vastness of the universe and the myriad ways life might arise and communicate. Regardless of where you stand on the Drake equation, one thing is clear. It hasn't brought us any closer to solving the SETI paradox. Despite our best estimates and the tantalizing possibilities, the silence from the stars remains deafening. The Drake equation, despite its estimates, hasn't brought us any closer to solving the SETI paradox. Another corner of the SETI paradox is Fermi's paradox and the concept of the Great Silence. Let's delve into Fermi's paradox first. Named after the physicist Enrico Fermi, this paradox poses a simple yet profound question. If there are a multitude of technologically advanced civilizations in the galaxy, why haven't we detected any signs of them? This quandary becomes even more perplexing when you consider the sheer scale of the universe. With billions of stars in the Milky Way alone, each potentially hosting habitable planets, the odds seem to favor the existence of extraterrestrial life. But here's where the paradox lies. Despite the statistical likelihood of intelligent life elsewhere in the cosmos, we have yet to receive any alien transmissions, discover any interstellar artifacts, or observe any telltale signs of cosmic engineering. This contradiction between high probability and zero evidence is what defines Fermi's paradox. Now let's talk about the Great Silence. This term refers to the puzzling lack of observable evidence or signals from extraterrestrial civilizations. The universe, it seems, is eerily quiet. Some posit that advanced civilizations are avoiding contact, perhaps to allow lesser developed societies to evolve naturally. Others suggest that we may not be listening properly or that our technology is not yet sophisticated enough to detect these alien communications. These concepts of Fermi's paradox and the Great Silence further complicate the SETI paradox. They highlight the tension between the high probability of extraterrestrial life and our ongoing failure to find any evidence of it. They underscore the challenges we face in our quest to answer one of humanity's oldest questions. Are we alone? in the universe. Despite the vastness of the cosmos and our persistent search for extraterrestrial intelligence, we have yet to find a single sign of life beyond Earth. So, the mystery persists. We listen and we search, ever hopeful, ever curious. Despite our best efforts, the great silence remains, deepening the mystery of the SETI paradox. There are numerous theories attempting to explain the SETI paradox. First up, the Zoo Hypothesis. This theory suggests that advanced extraterrestrial civilizations are out there, watching us, much like we watch animals in a zoo. They might be aware of us, but choose not to interfere or make their presence known, preserving Earth and humanity in its natural state. It's a thought that's as fascinating as it is unnerving, isn't it? then we have the gloomier proposition of the self-destruction of intelligent civilizations. This theory proposes that any civilization advanced enough to reach out into the cosmos is also likely to develop technology capable of their own destruction. Nuclear warfare, environmental collapse, biological disaster. The list is depressingly long. Might the silence we encounter be the tragic norm rather than the exception? Another intriguing theory is the Transcension Hypothesis. It posits that once a civilization reaches a certain level of technological prowess, they ascend or transcend. 
They might leave our universe entirely, moving into other dimensions, or they might become so small and fast that they're effectively invisible to us. Perhaps they're here in ways we can't even begin to perceive. We also have the idea of the Great Filter. This is the notion that at some point in the evolution of a civilization, there's a hurdle or filter that's incredibly difficult to overcome. It's a barrier that wipes out most, if not all, civilizations that encounter it. Have we passed it, or is it still looming in our future? And lastly, the concept of civilizations being too advanced for us to recognize. They might be communicating in ways we can't yet comprehend, or their signals are indistinguishable from the cosmic background noise. Our search for extraterrestrial intelligence might be akin to an ant searching for humans. These theories, while interesting, have yet to provide a definitive answer to the SETI paradox. The SETI paradox continues to be one of the greatest mysteries of our time. Here, we've delved into the existential question of our place in the universe, tracing back to the origin of the SETI paradox. We've explored the intricacies of the Drake Equation and the haunting implications of Fermi's paradox and the Great Silence. We've even pondered over a myriad of possible explanations and theories. Yet despite the wealth of speculation and scientific inquiry, the paradox persists. The search for extraterrestrial intelligence is an ongoing endeavor, a testament to our relentless curiosity and quest for understanding. We scan the cosmos, peering into the vast expanse of the unknown, hoping to find a signal, a sign, a hint that we are not alone. The enduring mystery of the SETI paradox serves as a humbling reminder of our infinitesimal existence in the grand scheme of the cosmos. As we continue to scan the cosmos, we are left to wonder, are we truly alone? Or is the answer to the paradox just beyond our reach?